everybody, Wicked AP Toys and Collectibles here. I'm coming to you hot off the heels from the Seattle Lake City Toy Show uh, 2016. Just wanted to kind of do a little quick pass on uh, my gets today. Um, here I got my trusty BB-8 uh, tote bag full of uh, a bunch of goodies. And yeah, let's just kind of go straight in out of here. Scored me a Turtles uh, collector's case. Holds 12 figures. It's from the Vintage Playmates line. Uh, nice graphics and stuff and whatnot all around. There's, uh, you know, Raphael on the cheap skate. You got another, looks like Michelangelo in the Turtle Parachute. Yeah, you got uh, some Splinter on the side. Got all the four Turtles right there. And you even got Shredder peeking his head right over there by the latch. Um, yeah, uh, for convenience sake, I, I did toss a bunch of the toys that I grabbed at the show in here. So yeah, let's take a look what's inside. Someone was selling the Eye of the Technodrome for cheap, so I was like, yeah, why not? Got me also a Vac Metal Iron Man from the uh, 90s toy uh, biz series right there. Yeah, I've been wanting this guy for a minute, so yeah, found them fairly on the cheap, so, and lots of his accessories. Looks like they're almost all there, so yeah. Um, this is really cool. Got some of these uh, Mario figures, uh, kind of these vintage uh, PVC uh, style figures. There's one right there. Um, this, this looks a little bit more modern one. Let's see, this says 2002. Can't remember what this is from. Looks like the license directly through Nintendo, so maybe someone out there knows more a little bit about him. Let's see, even got this neat little Bowser. He's really neat. He looks really cool. Looks very, um, maybe some kind of pencil topper or something whatnot. Um, let's see, we, uh, so we got Princess Peach, Princess Toad still here. Yeah, another one of those uh, PVC type. Let's see, this looks like it's 19... 1989, I want to say it looks like it's done by applause. Yeah, so that's really cool. Let's see what else. I've got another Mario in here. Yeah, another one of those vintage Marios. I love it. Love seeing like these older designs of Mario before it kind of gets streamlined, uh, you know, as the world Nintendo and kind of like the new, the modern age of Mario. He kind of has a more consistent look. Let's see. Yeah, this is really neat. You say I spied this guy at the bottom of a box. Yeah, got him super cheap, but yeah. Nice tiny little owl figure right there. Um, looks like, yeah, some kind of pencil topper. Yeah, that's really cool. Let's see. Oh, yeah, here's my girl. There's a little, um, a little rotocast, a hollow type plastic figure of Tinkerbell. Uh, and looking at this, I got, uh, yeah, one of the vendors, they always have like a ton of different uh, licensed train cards. So this is cool. We're going to be looking at these a little later. Uh, Michael Jackson, we got Rambo, and we got V for Victory. Those crazy aliens didn't know that, that they made uh, cards of these. So yeah, definitely going to have a fun time opening those. Anything else in here? Yep. Oh, awesome. Yeah, here's got, got one of those uh, Funko blind bag uh, Disney uh, villains, yeah, Ursula, that'll go well with the rest of my Ursulas, uh, I was hoping that they had a Maleficent to add to that group, but, uh, yeah, this is pretty cool, like her, yeah, nice, the tentacles, awesome, alright, let's, uh, check out else what we have going on here, awesome, this is pretty neat, this is, yeah, actually, this is probably the first thing that I picked up during the day, like, I saw it immediately, uh, they dropped it down, like, ten bucks in price, so, like, he's, like, fully articulated, like, you know, to an extent, he's got, like, movement in his legs, feet, hands, arms, and, you know, his head, so, yeah, that's, awesome piece you know pretty cool looks uh, fairly modern so I'm not sure if it's like you know TV show movie whatever or just like straight comic or you know just nice licensed fig of him and I gotta note Garfield is like one of the very first things I recall learning how to draw like you know I was like either three or four years old and you know to this day can draw him with my eyes closed um, but yeah I don't you know he's a pretty large figure don't know what I'm gonna do with him maybe like display him with my inhumanoids and other large figures but yeah really cool um, vinyl figure right there. All right, and yeah, let's uh, keep on moving here. It's got a Rocketeer Bendy. Yeah, that was, uh, got that pretty good on the cheap, so couldn't go wrong there. Got me a sewer surfing Michelangelo. Been wanting this guy for a good minute. Came with a surfboard, so yeah, definitely couldn't pass that guy up. Buddy of mine gave me, uh, the, the good old uh, classic cheapskate. I did see the, the cheapskate too, and I was about to buy that. Glad that I passed up on it. And uh, yeah, my buddy gave this to me. So yeah, kudos to him. Awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah, another good get right there. Uh, Toxic Avenger. Can't remember this guy's name, but yeah, Toxic Avengers is definitely one of those lines where I've always kind of have my eye on them, and they show up pretty often during the toy show. So I usually don't make a priority of them. Eventually, I would like to get all of those. Got a great deal on these two guys. The Mutatin, Bebop, and Rocksteady. Been wanting these guys for a good minute. So, 
Checking them out right there. Yeah, so saving the coolest for last. I'm really liking this guy. Like, this is something, I don't know, I'm uh, pretty sure it's licensed. Uh, ask the dealer. They um, agreed as it is so. Like, the head looks very much like the vintage toy Playmates uh, Leonardo, the original there. But yeah, this is one of those, you know, squeeze them and, you know, you can hold them on to, like, your trapper keeper, your shelf, your jacket, whatever. They hold on to some good things. Yeah, even, like, some slight articulation in the legs there but yeah it's so weird and odd yeah it looks like he has like the area where his uh belt would have been just like that vintage playmates where it's kind of indented but yeah it's just such an odd little find um yeah the dealer was saying like he's only found like maybe one listing that he's seen in a good minute and there's like maybe some raphael so you know hopefully maybe the other uh two turtles are out there but yeah I would love to hunt all these down this is so weird and odd and just kind of unique um, unique piece um, yeah but this pretty much does it for my haul at the Seattle Lake City Toy Show 2016 yeah let's uh, get this guy right in there see if we can sneak him in but yeah I hope you enjoy this has been Wicked AP Toys and Collectibles please like and subscribe peace and check you later bye